What's good everyone, it's Mudger here, let's talk about our final AR to get gold and that is the Lackman 556. In order to unlock the Lackman you have to use the battle rifle version which is the Lackman something or other and unlock it to level 13 and then you unlock the 556. This is what I used as far as setup go, the laser will become clear why I've put that on when we hit the challenges, pretty simple. The gun feels very satisfying to use, it's not the strongest gun that's for sure. Um, but it definitely feels, it feels nice to use, I'm not going to lie. It gave me kind of old MW3 vibes and I'm not sure why. As always, perks 1 was Battle Hardened and Bomb Squad, perk 2 was Fast Hands, perk 3 was Ghost. With the field upgrades being Ammo Box and Dead Silence, like always, pretty standard stuff by now, so let's just jump into the camera challenges themselves. As always, 50 kills to kick it off, nothing to worry about, completely organic. At around level 8 you'll unlock 10 double kills. I know some people struggle with this, the best advice I can give, and I've said it in most of these videos by now, is to play hardpoint, play headquarters, play an objective based game mode, particularly one that forces people to move by moving the objective like hardpoint and headquarters. It means that people have to move their little feet and actually come out into the open, and it gives you a better chance of snagging those double kills. At around level 13, 14, you're going to unlock 50 kills while using a suppressor, hence why my build had a suppressor on, because once I put it on, I just didn't take it off again. You just gotta shoot 50 people with a suppressor on, really nothing else to it. And finally, at around level 18, 19, you unlock 10 hipfire kills, which is why I had the laser on. For this, I literally just did it in like one and a half games, if that. Um, I just played some ratty angles. I think I stood kind of at the top of stairs like on the railings of embassy and shot people as they walked up. You can stand behind doors and wait for enemies to run past you. It's really easy, you just aren't going to be able to face enemies head on and spray and pray and expect to win every gunfight. You'll win some but not enough to make it worth it. I knocked out 10 hit fire kills amongst playing regularly as well in a game and a half. Didn't really think too much about it, you just got to get through it. When that's all done, you'll unlock the gold camo challenge, which is three kills without dying ten times. I think this was pretty easy. I know some people struggle with it. I'm going to say it again. Objective based game modes are the best because it forces people to move. You know that people are going to be tracing a path from the old objective to the new objective. It makes enemies movements a bit easier to predict. It allows you to gain positioning over them and prepare yourself to shoot them. And by all means, play a bit slower once you've got those first two kills. Wait for that third one to come along. There's no point dying one off it every time because you get a bit too anxious to try and get that third kill and get it wrapped up. If you are struggling, I've heard a lot of people vouch for third person mode. It's decent. The SBMM is turned down, that is for sure. There is nothing wrong with it. It is perfectly viable. Or you could go towards ground war and invasion. Play a lot, lot slower. A lot more bodies to shoot at and just play it that way. I don't think that's the fastest method, but it's definitely easier, definitely slower paced if you're struggling with the fast paced side of multiplayer. And after that, you will have the Lackman 556 Gold. That is the last AR guide for gold that is. We'll have Platinum out probably tomorrow, maybe the day after. It depends how busy I am. With that being said, if there is anything else you need help on, drop a comment. I will do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.